So, I have a small little question for some of you guys, and it's kind of an interesting one too. Have you ever wanted to be a radio presenter? I feel like it's a job no one really thinks about, but everyone uses it when they're driving in a car, listening to it on a radio. Well, in this game, we're gonna get to experience exactly what that's like. I hope you guys are looking forward to the show tonight, where in this one, we are taking the midnight job at the killer frequency AM. Though on this night, things may get a little bit bad. So, what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to Killer Frequency. First of all, I wanna give a big thank you to Matthew over at Team 17 for handing me an early copy of this game to get recording. This is actually a game I'm very excited to experience. Ever since the early days of Do You Copy, where we got that whole radio communication type horror game. Such a cool, unique idea for really a horror game of any kind, so I can't wait to see how this game plays out. I'm done staring at the exterior of this building. Look, get me in the center of it, okay? Are we actually doing the presenting? Wait, I said I was done staring at the exterior. Game plants me outside. Hey, hold up. Look at this. It's how we begin. Check that trash. Okay, it hasn't been emptied yet. Great. Another groggy night. Why'd I even come this way, bro? Why am I coming this way to work? I could have picked any other way. This is not it. Don't mind me just making my way through. Hold up. You can hold two objects. Swap between them with the hands like this. All right. We see that. F to pick up stuff. R to drop it. Pick anything up in there, though? I don't think so. Why are we trying to take trash, though? You know, guys, the freak am I thinking? Hello? The freak? Bro, what the freak is happening back here? Hey, who's whistling like that? You want to show yourself? I didn't think so. Making a ruckus for no reason, bro. Um, okay, I'm flipping switches. I guess I really do know my place in this world, and I'm used to doing what I gotta do, you know? Start the power up before we start doing the talking for the FM, and then we get... Bro, were you trying to scare me? Didn't work. I bet I was just like a rat that ran past us. I mean, you know, guys, we can inspect objects, so we got this right here. Hold E, and then we can go ahead and rotate that. K-F-A-M. Very nice. Love to see that one. And... That, that is a sturdy cup. That's how you know they were built properly. The rat trap down there. Do I really? I mean, you know, I'm actually going to dispose of this thing, you know? Rats have been fine. Can stay out of reach, okay? Rats, don't go eating that thing. Just try and stay safe. And that's all we got down here. Why don't we use this door, bro? Why don't we come this way through? Why do we have to start the trash in, you know, guys? Open doors. We've got storage unit back here. What the heck? What is going on in this? We better be good. Uh... Yo, I saw her face. You better clear on out. They didn't clear out. They tried to clear it in, right? Hey, I saw that, man. Yo, this don't feel right. This that rough start to again. Ooh, hey, how you doing? Uh, is it Halloween? What day is it today, bro? Thank you. Did we just see a victim get taken out? Bro, we weren't playing as the FM people. You hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? What's that outside the studio? Or, Bro, that's cool. I don't know, uh, how? What's this? Well, is, that? is this a joke? Nah. No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Hmm. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. Nah, dude, I'm on edge. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats. Yeah. You know, four mm. legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. I know, I know. I know what a cat is. But I mean, does That's Gallows weird. Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Hmm. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously. We just in that do past? we have to do these checks every time? I and do, man. Do you have to call him that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment Ooh. before each show. All right. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. All right, man. But if you're sure you don't want to. Maybe we should. Let's do the checks. Like, I don't want to do my first ever shift through this guy's perspective and screw everything up, okay? I need that tutorial. Right. Let's do right. it. Let's get through this. Maybe we won't All have to next righty. time. This is your captain speaking. Here we go. Voiceover really? mode. She's Come doing on. it. Come on. Let's have a bit of fun with it for once. She I'm down, Buckle okay? Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Great. Let's start with record playing. Bro, oh, what the heck? I guess okay. this thing down here? I have a record. The thing? Stick it on the player and uh, hit play. 1980X. Do you want to go that one? Let's go. Okay, slam it on. Uh, wait, where do we slam this thing on, bro? Here? Oh, I can walk around, though. Okay. Uh, do Forrest, you yep. need to grab a record you and go. stick it on the turntable. Ooh, so we right click and then drop it on. Move the handle, maybe? Or can we just press play? Let's go. Hey, I got that walk around studio. Great. Let's go. Now turn it off. I don't want to, though. You want to maybe get the tunes out? Hmm. I want to dance to them. Okay, we'll turn it off. No problem. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Phone line. You your see captain these? will be waiting to oh. take your call Look on line one. 
Okay, where am I looking, man? Where am I looking? This one here? Uh, okay, that was wrong. Line number one? Uh, do you want to wear those headphones, though, sir? You don't want to wear those? Put those things. Line one is the leftmost oh, oh. button. Left mouse button. Bro, where are you looking, ma'am? Oh, right, Peggy, just down here. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald oh. Key calling. Ah. Uh, Call me Don. You get it? Ma'am, is that yeah, you? It's a riot. Oh, goodness. Great. And button two works just the same. Mm -hmm. there, so, you, there you go. Done it. Let's move to the Peggy button. Press you mean for the Peggy. Line. This one here. Like I said, the Peggy button. All right, Peggy Press button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Oh, okay, hmm. okay. Is there a Supervisor. Peggy That's pretty button. sick. They haven't invented it yet. We need now, that. We need that. Ooh, the Peggy button says is two? the third one on the phone line. I'm one step ahead, and man. I'm already see it. it. We can adjust these two. Yo, that's kind of cool. <sighs> Press no. four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this one in. This I don't is even know your why. brain, Forrest. Sorry, I made you such an unfun turkey. Oh wow, yeah, she's really doing now, that. Am I? Okay. Are we almost done? Yeah, she wants you to be, man. For those <laughs> that are out the way, I'm gonna break those. That's an easy one. Sound blaster. Are you sure? My brain does not recall which one that one is. Maybe this. There we go. Ooh. Always good for a cheap laugh. Yo, Jingle, what's this All one? All right, we're almost done. Yo, I can't hear that one, though. Just the volume sliders left. Okay, we see These that one. These should let you affect pretty much everything. That's cool. But yeah, that's really fun. let's test it with a record. Look at this. Okay, Play a record, record. and change the volume with the music slider. I hear you. Like that. Hey! Seems to be all working. Mm. We done? Can I attempt Captain. that volume? Mm. <laughs> we sure we'll stop are. that one. Let's get Coming some conversation. In for landing. Local time. What yeah, is it? Huh? I should not encourage you. Nah, bro. She just I she loves it. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Mm. All right, we know that one. Yeah, so that's our introduction. Let's get the show started. Are we seriously After good your to go? After introduction, our first segment <gasps> is guess that scream. Okay. I... Huh? I thought that was a joke. Interesting nope. title don't right there. Me for this one. All right. It's Reggie all the way, and he's a man. Yo, we can, do it we can leave this thing, bro. Close that door nice and gently. There you go. Okay, Lock that thing up. Three, oh, oh, two, oh, oh, oh. Yo, yo, yo. 189.60. <laughs> I had to, like, run back. It's 12. Midnight. Let's go. In that midnight Good airtime. Gallows Creek. Speaking to your mic. This is your host, Forrest oh. Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Ooh, Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, uh, I need to let you know about a that. special competition we have for you this evening. Let's go. Guess that scream. Guess the scream. This is actually one of the station the manager's freak. better ideas. <laughs> Here's how it works. Let's listen. I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and... Going to copy it? Guess that scream. Yeah, there it is. Hey. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they uh, stub their toe, saw off a finger, oh my or gosh. discover the corpse of a loved one? Three fairly That's different good. screams. Now, show. Forrest, hit them with the tape. The we'll tape. play that scream in just a second. We go, you listen close, and then call in to do the scream. Guess that scream. Let's go. Teddy Gallows hey, Jr. What do you mean, play the tape? I'm Everybody doing it, bro. Christian. I just have a tape I'm guy do that for me. You're not in Teddy Chicago Gallows anymore, Jr. Forrest. Yeah. I mean, I don't Here in Gallows home. Creek, you get to be your own tape like guy. Okay. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. All right, man. Teddy we got Gallows you. Jr. has worked hard. Dang, this Forrest, you do have the tape right. It's in. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy. Oh. Let's be real. Oh, Am I doing the wrong Guess tape, that scream oh, is a terrible man, idea. Linda for real? Teddy no, I, Jr. Lives I don't have the tape. Creek. Mm. It may He's be a stupid neighbor, idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Like That's fair. Who That's we're going fam. to need a screen tonight, Forrest. Are we going to have to do the screen? You're the one at the mic, like so... Yep, sounds good. Uh-oh, are you serious? I won't do it. I hate what I'm becoming. I mean, these two, that's more of like a, I'm going to do it, but what the freak am I going to do? I used to go out all across America. America, right. uh -huh. And now I'm just oh, screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Can't see outside. Help him become mayor. All right. It's enough dead air already. Oh, we hear you. Just think of a scream and Vote let it rip. Teddy Gallows Jr. I guess we oh, got no God. choice. My it's finished up. Teddy Sorry Gallows. about that. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, we had to that? step away there for a second. All right, I'll, I'll do that. Listen close, and then call in to. Uh huh. Guess that scream. Mm, the perpetual yeti scream, the falling from cliff, cliff screen, the drowning scream. But you wouldn't hear that though, you know? By the way, guys, you want to see the next episode? I think you know exactly what to do. I'm feeling like uh, drowning. I'm interested. That's. Yeah. Not bad. You like that one, ma'am? She is laughing. Dude, she's a, she's redder than a tomorrow after hearing that. Well, I am too. There you have it. What was that, huh? Call in with your guesses, and Guess if that you scream, get it right, man. you could win. Two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze wow. and one free fried dough. Fried dough? The Just freak. call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. KFAM? Now, 
Here's some music while you get dialing. Should we, should we play? Yep, let's go. Ah! Oh, we, oh, yo, I didn't introduce that one. <laughs> yeah. Time to go on the journey that is. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Last processor with their hits on. Already in the back. 1980X. Bring it up. Oh, God, mm. That was amazing. You see that with the slider? That was fire. Thanks. Hey, I'm checking around the studio. <laughs> Trash shoots. People think that was. Oh, they're gonna hate that one. How the hell did I get into this mess? I don't know, Lighten bro. Up for us. That's gonna be the highlight of my. Look at all these tapes down here. Seven Twilight Storm Riders, The Word, The Hangups, David Scopo. Dude, we got some bangers oh, in here. There's a call coming in. Oh, uh, for real? I don't okay, see it. Okay, Forrest, shut the music up. Right, no, it's nice and slow. Nice transition out. There you go. You see that one? Bop. Okay, turn this back up. Hello. I Welcome hear you. One eighty nine point sixteen. They gonna the get scream. it. Scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name uh, is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Wait, what? Are you calling to guess that scream? Wait, what? Let's just Welcome clarify. Welcome to Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet mm. you may have an educated guess. That's smooth, what? Forrest. No! Look. I found a body and I need your help. Uh, <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Yeah, this feels like a nice setup, man. Someone's way into All the right. mood. I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. Okay, Peggy. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. Okay. I think this is real. Peggy. I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. For real. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Hmm. Forrest, I really don't think this is, is a prank. Are the audience hearing this talking, this back and forth thing? Are you serious? You should call the sheriff. I mean, probably should dial it in. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. Right? What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? Okay. I'm in the sheriff's office right now. All right. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is, is dead? Is this a prank? I couldn't get any response from the department. Uh, That's never happened before. Let me, let me so shoot I some into the poops. station I'm, and... Uh... I found him. Dang, that's some hard oh, news. Let me score God. a three-pointer in his Poor honor. Sheriff Matthews. Can we, how do we, can we, can do we score this? Let's him? go. Someone Two points, by the way. Got him. Someone got up very close and... Just I nice really to be here. I don't want to wanna be having our viewers hear this, fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. Casings? He's surrounded by bullet What about casings? what we saw before as well? I though. think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Where are the other officers? Is there anyone else? Yeah, well, like... Is anyone else at the station? And anyone who can help you? Or or who might be responsible? Right? No. I checked everywhere. Knocked Deputy out. Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied mm. up, and locked in a holding what? cell. What? I called you right after I found Why us, God. man? Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. What's going we down there? We have three. Then? Oh, okay. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Great. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? How would I know? Not a clue. I oh, didn't see anything Leslie. on right. my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. Mm -hmm. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. Huh. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on. We can on see that map where she is. Hold on, let me but see on this. But if you leave while there's a murder around the loose, Who's going to hmm. man the emergency line? Right. That's why I called. Yo. Forrest, I've routed all 911 huh. calls to come in to you. That is responsibility, ma'am. Uh, me? It's a bad idea. You can count on me. I mean, we're the only person broadcasting past this time, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm a radio talk show host, Let's Leslie. just, uh... I talk to idiot people about their Whoa, idiot yo, ideas. Yo, this better be I'm not muted on the air, man, or else we are fired. Me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. All right. You're the only As expected. Yo, we got tapes back here. Look at job. this. Besides, Serial thriller? There are lots of and transferable skills between the two. See some more. Roll these names. It's like an interview. <sighs> Those names you are scary. questions to get information you can use. We see over here. Look, there's a toggle talk, text panel. You, know? you see that? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. Got you, you do got know you. that I'm so good at interviews. Check they sent me out, from bro. Chicago to this. Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that hmm. doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Sounds good, I think. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. Okay. I have an emergency. Do you want me to blaze some tunes for that? I get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. All right, it looks where? It like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell. How am I supposed to know what to do? 
Damn. Is there any way you can reach the keys? You guys stink, no. ma'am. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. That's one thing? And that's too narrow for me to reach through. We need a pokey. There's gotta be another way in. Hmm. Try to break down the door. Not gonna work. Find another way into the cell. I mean, I would assume that there's more than one set of keys for a there's cell. There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere yeah. in that office. It won't just have one. This can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another Bro, set. Is, did she own your thing now, though? Come be. on, ma'am. Uh, office's desks. I mean, Sheriff would probably have the skeleton key, Maybe right? Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... He's gotta have a skeleton key or something. You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. One second. Try and look past the, uh, the brain mantle leaking from the oh, hole in the top of his head. Sick. Yep. Sorry, Sheriff. Jesus, she's picking up the brain, looking underneath that thing, you know. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. Ugh. Please don't stare at me. Dude, that's nasty. I, I feel for Leslie. Ooh. Oh, wait. Let's go. We got something. We got something. I, I, th I think I got the cell key. Yes, sir. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Mm -hmm. Do the keys work? They do. Let's go. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. We have another sheriff. So far, sheriff. so good, I suppose. Soon be waking up. How are you feeling, Forrest? Bro, I'm scared. I think I, I can't handle this or not. I think we can handle this. Uh, I mean... I, I swear to God, I'm Peggy, just if this saying. is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. <laughs> I've Dang never heard right. of anything like, like this happening in broadcast. Yeah, right. I've never heard about anything like this either. Be, I don't think Peggy knows. But we're here knows. now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens I next. Be, I believe Peggy. Come on, Martinez. There we go. Ugh. I'm just gonna Check, sit here in your here, office dude. What is chair. This? September or th <laughs> September 1987. I'm back. Deputy okay. Martinez is still out cold. Better get him up, man. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. Okay. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. For real, it's the right thing to do. I feel like we need backup though. If the phone lines are cut, there's no communication passing out of this area. We That's need a good backup, idea. man. We don't want to take any risk right now. Yeah, we Thank you, can't Forrest. avoid that. We're gonna have you to play Peggy lead. You just work together like you did earlier. Loss of trust. This. Now I'll, I'll be back as soon as. I what? Wait, what? My car. My car is on fire. Mom, you gotta get out of there. What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Where is the deputy's office? That was creepy. What? No. Bro, the no whistling. Way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. Oh, I'm getting shivers, What's dude. Happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. That's the whistling? killer's cue. It can't be. You oh better, Leslie, God. pull your gun out. I can see him, but he's dead, right? What? Right? With that mask. And how the hell is he? We got a copycat Who, killer. Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Now nah, we got a copycat mask. killer, man. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Shoot him oh, down. Oh, God. Make him dead again. Do you think... Dead square. Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? Heck yeah. He's coming this way. Pull that gun out, man. Look, yeah. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right now. Right. Right now. Yo, this is kind of intense. I like this. We need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. How can she escape? Run for it. Hide in the station. Take a police cruiser. Bro, what's the best one? He, he's going to know that in the station, maybe. I don't think run for it's a good one. Take a police cruiser. Yo, I don't know. He's breaking those doors. Maybe she should hide, though. I think you need to stay put and hide in the station. Bro, he's trying to break be safe through. In there. We can't just stay in here. Are you going to be able to drag an help. unconscious person that way, and though? What if he gets in? What if he finds us? Is there no hiding spot? There then? should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Okay. Let me check if Martinez has any. You better be quick. Uh, yeah. Ma'am, do, and... do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. Perfect. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Is that nice one, too? Forrest. Good thinking. I actually said the but... wrong one, but thank you, man. Wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? Right. The whistling man is right there. We need a distraction. I mean, I would say Matthew's gun, probably. The shells lying around there, does that mean that they were all dispensed from him? I'm gonna say Matthew's gun. The sheriff must have a gun, I'm right? I'm worried can, that Martina, maybe if there they were knocked out cold. Let me grab it. I'm worried that their gun would have been stolen. I... Uh, as expected. You're gonna have to take... He must have emptied it trying to yeah. defend 
defend himself. I missed if the shells, like, where they came from. Can you see any of the weapons? Is there a weapon lockup? There should be one. Uh, let me just see. Are, are there any other weapons lying around? Like maybe Martinez's use? gun. I didn't see anything earlier. I'm um, thinking maybe Martinez's gun uh, was in the cell. Let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Yeah. They're gonna have a weapon, right? They're gonna have to have a weapon. We need something. Talk to me, Leslie. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, okay. pepper spray, and taser. I can right. only hold one. If he's wearing a mask, is pepper spray going to work, though? Which should I take? I'm thinking taser, right? Pepper spray ain't going to work. But, Ton, I don't think that's going to stop him. Maybe tase him I down? Mean, it's got to be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going I to sure grab the hope I'm right with this one, bro. Wait. He's coming in. Do you hear that? Yes, I don't hear it. No, I, I can't hear anything. It's subtle on your exactly. end. It's gone. Oh no, he's around, ma'am. He's around. Be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. That's suspicious as heck, man. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Be careful if you do, Leslie. Okay. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. Yep. They're awake, yep. but very there you conscious go. by the sounds of Are you sure about this, Leslie? Nah. No time like I the present, sure right? Not. So. This is life or death for here Leslie. We go. She knows she's got to get it, ma'am. You're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Got you. If I reach it. <sighs> Ma'am. Speak to you soon. Have some positivity. Good luck, Leslie. Good luck, Leslie. Be optimistic. She still hangs up. She's got to go, man. a brave woman. Right? God, I hope she makes I it hope through so this. I hope so too, ma'am. I hope so too. You know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected for when real? I came into work today. A bit more exciting, well, but not the they always say you have to be to ready for everything in live radio. Here we are. Here we are. So, what's it time we do? Should we start oh, playing the tunes again? I think again? we've got Leslie back on the line. Yeah, that was fast. I'm All right. I'm the call through. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. Hello? Forrest? Oh. Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Yeah, she sounds Over. panicked. Uh, yeah. Hello, Leslie. So, I, I guess you made it to the car then. We did. Okay, Debbie excellent. Martinez is in the passenger seat still. That music's cold. back. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. Smart. So, I'm going to get us moving. Jesus. God damn it. Get Get back. He's breaking Get in. Get away from her. Tase the dude. Tase him. Tase him. Leslie, what's happening? The whistling. No. Tase Get the dude, her, man. Son of a bitch. You're going to tase him. Reach up. Tase the man. Yeah. Take that. I heard a body drop. Let's go. Uh, Drive. Yes, yes. Leslie, drive. Yeah. Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Yeah, that's why I like to hear those tires screeching. Yes. Are you two okay? Sounds Applaud. like you handled that pretty Is well. Is she yawning or cheering? Forrest, Whoa. that taser, definitely the right call. Good. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. I can. Well done, Leslie. Best supposed to be you in that situation, Leslie. Just the another goat. day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you, I Let's prefer it. doing it from your side of the phone. For real, for real, I bet. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek as a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. Are you? It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each We've got way. a six-hour survival run around, man. Do it. That long would do our best. You keep that pedal to the floor, then. Let's go. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. We need this taken care anyway, of. Anyway, once I'm then? in, oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Good. That's or, good, Peggy, right? Gotta go. I'll be out of range soon. But I'll radio Best of luck back to you as guys. soon as I can once I got the cavalry. I hope they get out okay. Take care. Take I'm care, gonna say Leslie. that second one, man. Be safe out what there. What the freak? Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Scream it so the man can hear it. Oh, she just had... Okay, all right. Well, there you go. A shocking turn of events. Okay. Folks, you heard it here. We've back got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Right. Please make sure to stay safe. Stay in. And Leslie, Holy. we're counting on you. I hope she does We're gonna well, get man. back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind, or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. Dial it through. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. We for still now, hitting the notes. Here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Okay, let's go. Uh... Mm. Should I introduce the song? Yes. Hope you enjoy <laughs> this one as much as I do. Turn it down. And this is not what I signed up for, Peggy. Okay, now we This is right. actually insane. Did she really some say time. it's going to take her four I'm gonna hours? I'm going to check around a little bit, boss. This guy's going to kill half Wait, the town to in four hours. Okay, all right, let's close Forrest, this. Forrest, that's not helpful. 
Yeah, know, that's a I bit nerve-wracking of a statement to make. I'm just saying, bro. Who is this whistling man character anyway? Who is this serial killer back in the 50s? Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling. Doing the business. Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Gosh. No reason for it. No motive. Just... He was just like that. What happened to him? And he's come back. Yeah, I want to know. I assume he's taking. I'm sorry, guys. Well, police yeah, chased him up to Alice Point one night. See, we call it whistling crap, point now. Because was, of that. Well, it was on this night actually. The police cornered him and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. Ooh. So is he alive? Dead? It's I mean, in the 50s. We're now in the story? 80s. That's three story decades, is, bro. He's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? I know. Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. That's his baby boy. We'll do our best. We'll find out. I yeah, buddy. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with. Yeah. Whether we like it or not. You know he's I coming so. here, man. <sighs> man is probably coming. At least we got the here. word out, I guess. Just Studio Gallows Creek. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday. Interesting, folks. After right. Midnight. Okay, Could just 35 though. 30. 35. Notice, Gallows Creek huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, nah, bro. 35 Literally people. 35, bro. At <laughs> best. It's a slow night. Eastside and McCready Street will be closed from the 7th to the 9th for maintenance. Residents will be unable to access the connecting roads between Rogers Avenue and Haddonsfield Road. I feel like that's important to recognize. So where are we seeing that? Rogers Road. I'm seeing this Haddonfield Road alongside here. Where is that one, though? I'm trying to find. I'm thinking like... Might be worth knowing the location of this one ahead of time. Do you fall? Yeah, bro, I don't I don't see it. Maybe uh, it might pay off when we call someone. If they talk and they're outside, we can find where they are, relay the information back. It's pretty sick, though. Like, we can see outside the studio, get some uh, get some ideas. Look at this. Yeah, I know I, can, I don't want to leave, man. I'm just checking out there. She's just chilling back there, man. She's head in the hands. Like, what have I gotten myself into? I'm trying to act tough, but deep down, I am panicking myself. Oh, wait, we got some more, we got some more stuff here. Hold up a second. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. <sighs> and what's the population of Gallows Creek? 35, I'm open to you. I don't know exactly. That's not, okay. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get well, before? that's not that bad. You oh. know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Wow. Yeah, before that. Yeah, Around five for most shows on the low end? Okay. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the um, low end? We can only dream of that. Five million. What? Million? Bro. Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. That's insane. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Probably coming for I that guess rich we're going to learn now, a lot about perspective neck. tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Yeah, I'm taking Take that. it when you're ready. I'm, bro, I'm ready. Time to turn the music off. Yeah, I know. Slide that thing down and bop. And we take that Hello, call. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Am I hearing Is everything uh, all right? He's talking. Hey, at least you're not whistling. We didn't hear nothing but heavy breathing, man. Scam caller. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh... What do you need, uh... Hello? Hello? Need out. Bro's just been doing cardio all night. That's all. It's just someone's done cardio. Maybe he's got sleep apnea, you know? That sounds that could be mistaken for snoring in the bed. Okay. What's your name and why are you calling in? Oh. <laughs> you know my name. Bro, I'm come to my residence right now, man. This this is a fake dude. Seriously, bro. Back from the dead to kill again. Yeah, okay. No one saved. Ah, okay. You do, uh, do you accept requests? Do you <laughs> accept requests? Yeah, we're not falling for this crap. list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Uh, maybe. Bro is on you board. You must make a sacrifice to us. Got it. Got a sacrifice it. to us. I hear your buddies in the back talking. I, I mean, me. Bro, you're just having a pie on the weekend. Cheese dusted pre Okay, but that does sound kind of dope, though. Cheese dusted Pretzel. Let's go, bro. I, mean, I want cheese dusted pretzel. Ah, okay. Or I see how it is. I'll cut your the liver. Uh huh. Face off. Uh, you won't cut my hair down, like give me a nice trim. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Yeah, cut that line, bro. In other news, yeah, cut them off. Yeah, cut him off. This dude's uh, lame, bro. Mega gulp. 
We also want a mega call. Okay. For anyone just tuning in, we do in fact have an bit. actual killer out on the streets tonight. Yeah, like they're playing pranks in this, anyway, bro. This next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside okay. with your doors and windows. You locked. know, I kind of want to switch this out though. So let's let's put this one back in. Like that. Okay, that that is trashy, bro. Wait, no. Let's uh, let let's leave this plane a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Turn that back up. Let's go. You're gonna I'm gonna love this leave this track. one in the background. We're gonna have to change the radio station hey, up soon, though. The hell was that? Kids Keep pleasing the same one. Right now is stalking. Run down the that list, man. It's a thing. A thing? Yeah. Ugh, kids weird, cringy here. thing, man. Are People you serious right now? Pretending to be him. People do that By in real life, and it's be so weird. Character. They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. You tell them, Peggy. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie. No, that. That's real. Actual danger. Christ. Mm. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. Is all it? Right. Let's do this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of fearful, guys. I really okay, am. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right, ma'am, I got it, I got it, I got it. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, mm. Forrest Nash. Check that over there. Ooh, okay. What? Uh, I dialed 911. Uh, I need the sheriff right away. Yeah, we gotta explain. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. Yeah. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name Such is Sandra Sharp. Sharp. There is no cops available. The sheriff is... I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. You gotta break it lightly. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Well, we got you, we Listen, got you. You've gotta help me then. All right, Sandra, we hey. to be of town for a jazz run, and now hey. some psycho dressed like the Whistling Man is They all know me. about the Whistling Man. Hand. Oh, my oh gosh. God. It's actually happening. For real? Okay, where are you now? A jazz run? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Jazz run. Oh, I saw I jazz see. here. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. Okay, where but are you I though? The key somewhere along the way. You're gonna have to explain where you are, ma'am. I've got a place to hide, but okay. I can't get moving. We need to know more. Okay, can you go back and find your keys? Sounds like you lost them. Is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not going back out there. I. Put down, Mr. Sharp. Oh, 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 he's back. Mm. Look, I don't know anything about cars. Okay, you need it, stop. But I gotta start this engine without ah. the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Do I have my wait, Google wait, wait, phone? Wait, I don't. Uh, if it helps, oh, I've gosh. got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. So, bro, I'll call you back I when I find it. Oh, I, 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 yo, why can I crouch in this game? You're listening to 189.16. The Scream. Yeah, for Hosted sure. by me, Forrest Nash. Uh, your friendly gonna... neighborhood radio host. Put this down, bro. Mechanic and Go right there. Savior. Yep. Sit tight so. while the record spins, folks. Yep, we're gonna get some new jams This one on. goes out to you, Sandra. Let's introduce the song, maybe? Okay, we're just gonna play the song. Let's go. It's David Scopo um, with <laughs> this is a Moonlight. Sentimental. Doesn't on, the man. station have a show about cars? I hope the so. Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins talk mm. motors. Yo, this jam yeah. is so like. You know they're not even brothers. Sensual. Really? They look the same though. Mm. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Uh oh. Anyway, go see what you can find. All right. The offices are out the door and down the hall. I hear you, ma'am. I hear you, ma'am. Hey, we're actually leaving the studio. Oh, let's go. Whoa, look at this place. Okay, we need to clean this up a little bit. I could do with a hot pot of coffee, though. Keep me going through the night hour. Radio's on the wall. Look at this, bro. Do I, do I need the toilet break? I mean, that, that's the mom's room, so I'm gonna keep that closed. Could that light be any more menacing, though? You see that? Dude, we need better light colors. So we've got filing area. So we're looking for something to do with a car manual. We need to find what we need. We've got filing cabinets. We've got desks and stuff. Am I in the right place, though? I do not know, guys. We've got callers there. There's a book here. We see, can we put that down? It's like, what notes do we have on here? Okay, I can't, that, that writing is so neat, I can't even read that, bro. Back here, what is this? So I'm scribbling down KFAM. This has to be important. Huh, here we go. I've borrowed your car theft magazine. Those uh, Cuevos Rancheros aren't sitting right, gonna need something to read. Pray for me. So wait, what, what can we do with this? Where did you put it, though? Am I out of luck, then? I've got this here. Truck, I don't know, bro, I don't know. The paperwork situation, not looking too hot around here. Ready isn't looking that good. 
Hey, what's this? Okay, uh, dear Bradley Catcher, please enjoy a free sample of garlic bread. We've pinned our latest offers and deals on the outside of the box if you want to read them out loud. Not really. Hey, I ate the garlic bread. Much like your show, it was mediocre. The deal is worth checking out, though. John. Very kind of you, John. Thanks for that. We got... Ooh, look at this. Okay, we actually have a grinning spree ad. I'm taking that one back just so I can play that one on air. Hold up. So many locked doors. Come so on, bro. Keys. We need those open. I'm going to throw this back first of all, but we're going to have to figure out, uh, you know, where we get what we need. We go. Let's just put that thing... Yo, where the freak did that go? I think it went inside there. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm... Tr door staying shut. Okay, I don't blame you, to be honest, ma'am. Um... I feel like I should kind of you know, clean that up. Okay, so we're not opening those. Dang, what am I doing? Check the bathrooms just in case there's any paperwork that we can use. Uh, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look like what we need. That I need can't a be key opened. to get in there. So maybe we can find a key lying around somewhere here. That, uh, bro, that's just piercing light. Close that one. Oh, hold up. That Okay, that looks good, right? Pick this up. This looks useful. Um, uh, take a read. Look at this. Okay, we could probably turn this thing around. Let's not put the book down. Hold up a second. Open this up. Let's go ahead and leave. Um, look at this strand. We need some better light in here. I can barely see. So we've got a complete list of steps. Try it yourself. Step one, screwdriver is key. If that fails... I'm going to assume that was the toilet closing behind. Step three, check the serial number, then strip and twist the following wires together. If there is a four before three and no seven in the number, red and blue. If there is a six anywhere and it doesn't start with five, green and brown? What the freak? I mean, this sounds complicated, but this might be easier than what I'm thinking. So lots of different combinations for those ones. If there is a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six, red and yellow. Step four, strip the purple wire. Do not touch this. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wire from step three. If the radio turns on and, uh, and won't turn off, cut the left pink wire. Do not cut the other pink wires. This will trigger the alarm. If the alarm is sounding, then cut the triple braided green wire, not the double braided green wire or the quadruple one. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, this book's coming with me. I feel like we're gonna need this one tonight. Set this thing down, place the items in the tray to hold them. Wait, what tray are we talking about though? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's kind of fire. Hey, all right, so we have that. Is that all we need though to help? Because we could, hold on, we could dial Peggy. Did you find anything? We did. Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds perfect. Absolutely does. When you're ready, shut the music off. Calm on. down, we are saving someone tonight. Let's go. Okay. Caller on line one. Buzz them in. Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. Be careful with this How one. Are you Make sure we up, get Sandra. it right. The creep's looking through the parking lot trying uh, to find me. Okay, all right, all right. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. Okay. How do we start this, baby? Okay, so we're gonna first off, let me just see. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist it clockwise. Get the steering wheel with the hammer. No, we start with that one, right? I just I want to be extra sure here. Yeah. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I. Mm. I. Oh, screwdriver's too fast. Re remove fit. the steering column cover. What next? Uh, hit the steering wheel. Unscrew. Yeah. Unscrew the steering column. Don't hit it with the freaking right. hammer, bro. Just turn. Just turn. Yep. One, two, one, two. She's got rhythm. Even in a panic, she's got rhythm. Sounds like it's coming off, though. Screw. Right. Enough to keep your car okay. together, right? Cover's off. Oh, here we go. Oh There's boy. Wires down here, all paired up and I'm concentrating. Oh god, my heart is pumping. Mine too, Sandra. Mine too. Okay, you're doing great. Tell me what you're seeing. Uh, Tell me exactly to the what point. you see. Okay. Okay. We can do this. You can. Me There's too. A red wire. Uh huh. A blue wire. Uh -huh. A yellow wire. A, a green wire and a brown wire. Uh, what's the serial number on the steering column? What's the serial number on the steering column? Listen up. The number is. Five. Okay, so let me just recap. There's a six anywhere, and it doesn't start with a five. Now, that started with a five. Uh, we don't get to... Oh, oh, yo, I thought it wouldn't let us see that again. So it starts with a five. Let me just see. There's a six anywhere, and it doesn't start with a five. That gets rid of the first one immediately, okay? So it's either the top one or the bottom. If there is a four before a three and no seven, there is a seven right there, okay? Four is before the three, there is a seven. If there is a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six. Three, no, nope, it's gotta be that last one. It has to be, so red and yellow wires, man. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. Let's see. All right. ah, I'm nervous still. Stop it. And we yellow, and we twist, and we turn. I like it. I like Perfect. it. Ideas, bud. Let's go. Pink and purple wire. What next? Okay, okay, okay. Now strip the purple wire. Do not touch this live wire. Strip the purple wire and twist. No, 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 no. Strip. 
strip the purple wire and brush against let me just see hold up a second so strip the purple wire step five brush the purple wire against the twisted wires strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted that's strip it the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires come on ma'am okay okay uh, we strip and we brush and <gasps> let's go yes dude i'm i'm, I'm ready work, though baby. i'm waiting for the end anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio you get in for free. Let's go. But are we done right now? We did it. Just keep driving. Uh, I'm glad you're safe out there, but lay off the jazz. Maybe until the killer's taken care of, man. You just keep driving now, okay? Yeah. Any problems? Get home safe. I'm, I'm get bracing, Get home safe, bro. Sandra. Will do, babies. Thanks so much. Woo! Yes, yeah, screech those brakes. She beeped to the killer. She was like, you ain't killing me tonight, sucker. We did it, Forrest. Let's go. We sure did. Yes. Here comes another hit track. That we're ja excited there you to go. share with you. We're gonna switch this and one remember, up, guys. If you're also Let's having car troubles, then tune sounds in good, to sounds good. Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. And Take it away, Forrest. Wait, wait, wait. We wanna introduce this one, though. Ooh. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? Like mm. Gallows Creek didn't already have Wait, was she? I think she was like over what here do you somewhere. Mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? I'm listening, man. Damn, that's some bopping tunes if you get up close to that thing. Nothing personal. Uh, I mean, it's sure, it's maybe Peggy, if it's just quiet. It's not Chicago. Or, hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and. Likes the busy happy. lifestyle. I mean, some like it quiet. Stab happy. Uh, Stab happy. <laughs> Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. It is peaceful. Come on, some folks have been okay. I yeah. guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Come on, man. Not terrible after a while? My brain is coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. Mm -hmm. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. <laughs> anyway, Take it. I hope the killer is done for the night. I won't put and it But Leslie it. gets back soon. Me too. We got six hours. What time is it? We, we don't have a we clock at in here. At least call off that stupid guess the scream. I, I feel like this now. is bad. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. All right, I'm glad she's on board. Okay, axe that thing. We don't want to do that no more. So 40 minutes so far. It's 12:42. We're surviving somewhat. Caller on line one. All right, page them through. Okay, Forrest, shut the music up. I got you. I got you. Evening I hate caller, the rough cut though. This is Forrest. Oh, Nash, I want to do transitions. Host man. of 189.16. The scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. That's it. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Now, can I get me a pepperoni slice, though, man? Let's give him Hello, the delivery. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. He likes that. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. Yes, me too. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, oh he's Scottish. I'm getting the a accent. really great job. Oh, I... And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's hey, Pizza. Ponty's Pizza wow, gets a five-star on Trustpilot, really man. You really don't have nah, to. Nah, he though. does. He does. Oh, I want those, man. I want those. Least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals. I bet. We'll have you eating for pennies. You sure about Sounds that? Sounds great, bro. Uh, let me tell you. Whoa. The pizza we have Kill is with the slogan. to die for. Oh, hey, oh, suspect. Oh, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Poor choice of words tonight, I guess. Yeah, you could have, uh... You could have thought about that one. Yeah, that was man. pretty tasteless, Fire I have back. to say. Where's my laughing I'm track? Sorry, Where's my Paris. laughing track, bro? Well, I just there you, you go. Or anyone else of coming on down to Pony's Pizza. Uh, We've got a great special this weekend. Yo, I'm going to play a weird sound Our effect. Hold famous up. beer and pizza deal. Wait oh, a I minute. I could have hit him with that, man. Come on down to Pony's Pizza this weekend. <laughs> You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling it's in dude. to advertise your shop. For Go real. For Peggy, hang up on him. Yeah, we're done with him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, yeah, this it's dude probably out, time we played a paid ad. Oh, now, okay. a word from our sponsors. Okay, where are we you going? You know how to play an ad, right? He's right, it's on the top. Oh, sure. Wait, play a cassette. Uh, but Done. 
I think I already God, did that. God, what a jackass. Oh, yo, that 100% was it. That was a grade A asshole. For real, Linda man. Linda Cartwright isn't super she's herself, so but she's not. Yeah, we this don't have any more of those got. ads to Master air tonight, Robbie. do we? Sure thing. No, Start just the one. Ready for next Good. Time. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek? Uh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. So we right. can hear. Let's just get back to the show. Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready to pay well, some stuff Well, folks, in. hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing Bro, at played, Teddy like, Gallows. One second of that, you I think I already played it too much. take a swing for Teddy Gallows. Better yeah, that, sure. Cue it up. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Let's see. Welcome to the Scream with me. Forrest Nash. Check out that window. There's nothing going yeah, on, Leslie. Man. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. He's got reports. I'm his at voice. the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. Hmm. Wait. Forrest Nash. I want to speak to 911. I get it. Put Leslie on. Mike's still working. What? God, another one? Hmm. Leslie left me in charge. Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. What, what's up? Why on earth is Leslie? That's an oh, awkward one. Never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Got a dollar Sheriff through, Matthews man. is dead. Ted? What happened? Did you witness My the ear did. Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? No, dude. Stop jumping I to it. I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. We're live on air, bro. We're li yeah. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. Yeah, dude. You better hang up. All right. Unless you want us to Obviously, help. Obviously, a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Dude! Some idiot kid just ah. broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. I think we should talk about that. Teens. I'll move this one for now. They get worse Put every this book year. anywhere else, though? I want to store it somewhere nice. Punk wasn't even there you a go, disappointing there you go. twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. Or it's ripping him was there. Straight up, I bro. Covered. Is there a Myers Street? Hold up. Did I just see that right? Myers Lane? I don't like that one. I don't think it's a team. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. Yeah. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. I don't believe Every it. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. Hmm. But they didn't live through the terror. 30 years ago. He's back to Hornets, man. Anyway, I know for a fact. Yeah, Maurice. Edward Marshall Mooney oh, how? is dead. You see the body? I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. What if he killed Sheriff Matthews? Where are you now? Yeah, come we through. Upstairs. Right, we're gonna help someone else. We got security cameras all around the FNAF? Building. You can watch them on any TV set here. Good. And there's a set in the boardroom. Okay, can you get out of there? You think you can take... No, 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 no. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Right? Ah, I sure as hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how is I'm going Is he going through the vents? That's that how someone breaking through the vents. That heard was him tipping over my filing Why are you cabinets? screaming so loud? He's blocking the stairs. Well, he wants I'm you guessing the stairs bro. are the only way out. That's right. And it would mm. take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. Hmm. But what? All we can do from here is... Offer advice. That's all we can Forrest, do. Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? Can we do that? We'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In um, different rooms. Maybe. With different extensions. Might catch him. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Hmm. And buy Maurice time. <clears throat> Get, come on, bro. No, thank you. I work. like it. I like the thinking. Exactly. I like it's this. Worth a shot. Yes, it I is. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed yeah, me yet. Yeah, we're trying to keep you Sorry, alive, Maurice. sir. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan just sounds, right? For sure. that to there be you successful, go. you're gonna need every phone extension. Mm -hmm. Plus, a plan of the entire office. Dude, I'm playing it when someone dies. I'm sorry. All delivered while the killer is en route. Hmm. I've got it. Oh. Thank God I've always been cool see, under pressure. We don't see anything here. Let's what we do. Oh, hello? Hello? Maurice? Smart breaking? Oh, no. He's scribbling something down. We got a Bro, he's faxing it through, right? Is that right? Because I've, I've yeah. already seen it. You don't think the killer got ah, him, man. do you? Mr. Russell. I know what he's I'm doing. I'm here. The freak's going to be 
here. He's, sent, he's definitely sending me a floor plan. Go plan. check your facts. Let's go. Oh, I knew it. Don't let me down. Wait, just in case we gotta say something back. Bro hung up on me. I'm out, dude. I figured this was. There's more to do. Oh, oh, we gotta go back. Hold on, hold on. Uh, how do you know the fax machine? Uh, where's the fax machine? Tell me where the fax machine is I again. I that one. I've seen it the already. The fax machine's in the office on the other side mm -hmm. of the hall. Bro, let Thanks, me out. Baby. Be right back. Let me out. I already saw this thing a long time ago. Okay. Let's go. go to the office on the other end of the hall. Still don't like that. Grab the fax from the machine. Uh huh. Easy. Right here. There it is. This Look. must be it. That's it. Bro is not an artist, that's for sure, but he knows the lay of the building. Enough for us to hopefully be able to help him. So bring it back through and let's see if we can help this guy survive. Can we get another victim safely home tonight? We go, place it down. Dial it through, I guess. Let's just see what goes hey, down, man. Did you get the facts? I did. Yes, I have. Mm, I'm nervous, guys. I'm just see for one time. You uh you still with us? Space I am. Calls. Okay. You get my facts? I did, sir. I did. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage All right, I'd be that. careful, Maurice. I'm okay, going to get folks, you slipped up on we're purpose, We're back on the man. line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Can we train it like this? Here's the situation. Okay, let's hear it. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. Hold room, but we don't now, see it. he's in the office next door. A secret archives? It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. Where are I'm ready you, on though? my end, Forrest. Now I'm ready, Again. bro. We want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number, mm -hmm. and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, I don't know. What extension wait, oh, wait, should I wait, call? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. We can see the phones. Let me see. So, call the archives, kitchen, editor's office, boardroom. So, we want him to be able to get. I don't know where is this dude at. Like, which room is he in at the moment? I don't know. If he did the facts, he must be in the boardroom, correct? So, oh, maybe we should draw him. Hmm. Where do we draw him? That's a good question. Maybe just go archives, exterior one. I don't know, bro. I don't really know. This is a kind of tricky one. I don't know. I'm thinking if we get him in the archives room, we can get this dude out of uh, the boardroom. It could be getting to the office space. Then we could call number three. We could get this dude maybe moving all the way down to like, uh, I don't know. Or we could then call the killer into exit or the exterior one four. And then from the office space, maybe this dude can escape. Let's try it. So we'll start with the editor's uh, ex extension, I guess. I, I don't know. Call the editor's office. The extension is know, zero three. I have Got no it. idea. I'll put the call through when you're I ready. Do, I, do, I don't know All where right, this guy gosh. is. Where do I need Where to go? are you? I don't know where you are. Go to the kitchen. Can he make it there? Go to the archives. On second thought, let's start. Huh? I don't know where this dude is. I'm going to send him to, I guess, the kitchen, right? He's going to call, and then he's going to have to go down into the kitchen. I don't know, bro. I, I, I don't really know what we can do here. Bounce him in the kitchen. You're moving to I guess. I don't know. the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go huh? somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. Can we keep him I'm ready alive? to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, uh -uh. do I? Nah, bro, you know. Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. Do we page it through or not? You hear it ringing on the other end there. That's pretty sick. You can hear it. He's still whistling, I man. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Wait, why? What do you mean? Good plan. Wait, hold up. What, what, what kind of response is that? Okay. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Uh, don't mention it. Wait, I'm... The coast is clear. Dude, he said he was going to his office. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Mm -hmm. Then, making my move. Got it. I'll call when I get there. Dude, I made me nervous because the last thing he said was uh, he's coming to my office. Then, okay? we, then we paraded sure ourselves, bro. We were like, yeah, we did it. But now what do we do? We twiddle our thumbs and we gotta quiet. find some way for him to get past that barricade. That what do you know. mean? I don't think calling the ah. whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. For real. We Secret gotta think archives. Of something else. I'm thinking yeah. editor's office. Maybe like, we could. Oh, call incoming. He's here. You ready? Hey, your man, let's go. Ready as I'll ever be. Ready as I'll ever be. I was pressing that Put button before I even spoke. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? Hmm. You hear that? Hello? I am. I don't think he saw me. Nice. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, Secret archives, bro. Right. Screaming let's to review me. review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, mm -hmm. which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly. Or quietly. Two big problems then. Can you fight him? Can you lock him in a room? Ooh, can we give him that dead of night treatment? Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation 
and say every door in the office ah, has to unlock man. from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Oh, wait, oh. wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. Spill them beans. The secret archive. I knew it. Office, where we keep our most sensitive records. Lock him in there. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. Bro, game locked in What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Now's not the time. Let's... Peggy. I don't think now's the time. I, I don't want to dig like into that. that. Like, there's a You're dude right. about to die. Sorry for it. Potentially. Us. Kids, we're in the big time now. All right. I've got it all figured out. Let's hear the it. Secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Mm. Only the outside. Perfect. You can't break out. If we can get him in there and I lock him in, we can catch the son of a gun. Yeah. Exactly. You know he'll break oh out my eventually, God. but. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare nah, right here. Dude. So should I call the secret archive then? There's an actual. Can't. I was gonna say. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. Oh, I hear you. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need hmm. to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? What could we do? Is there a TV? Use a, a ra oh a radio could be a good idea with us talking. You know. Maybe we could use a radio. Yeah, I'd hear the voice There's in no there. There's no radio in the secret archive. Get one from around the place. Are there the no place, radios then? at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but. Here we go. What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. Has he got one? He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Let's go. This is sounding like it's going to work. Let's hope he's a 189.6 fan. I'm glad you got a radio I don't think he's here, man. There. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? This is going to hurt, man. It's going to burn. Gallows Creek's best and only late night college Bro, this show. man's about to die and you're still Jesus doing an ad. Nash. I'd expect that level of self-advertisement from Brian Ponty. We already got that. Not you. Don't be a Ponty, Forrest. That's um, love. Bro, I'm, I'm oh, definitely... You idiots, focus now! Yeah, this we've got to focus. Turn that off. Still be That's more like it. Sorry, I'm just playing some drums. In the okay, we'll stop now. Actually, I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. Mm-hmm. That sounds good. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. That sounds good, man. Where's the clapping track, though? We're like, save him, Forrest. We're gonna try. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. All right, let's not get too ahead of ourselves, Peggy. But we're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. Be optimistic How can on this fail? one. I mean, uh, there's it's a, a lot plan of ways. With steps. We don't know. Get there the radio. Steps land in it in the secret archives. Can happen. Learn the killer and oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. That was fast. Nash, hello, Nash. Are you there? Yeah. I'm here. Hello. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought. Maybe stop screaming first of all, together. Morris. You know? I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Okay, uh, Morris, turn the volume down. Maurice, yes, turn yeah. the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. Uh -huh. I was just doing that when all you right, yelled sir. at me. Alright, sir. Alright. Okay, it's got some juice. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do More it for Hopkins, to his Forrest. Radio. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Wait. So. Ah, oh, god damn it. What's going on? If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't uh, be on the That is a good point. We could just be quiet I'm when it's dead. turned on. You just... Oh, that's a good Keep point. Keep on our line, bro. We won't talk, you know? That's but all wait. it is. We're the radio. Yeah, we can just be quiet. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Absolutely. Uh, if you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. This is a plan coming together. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. Yep, you got it right. After huh? your earlier self advertisement, Nash. That's why we did it. I don't think that's necessary. Glad it worked. Got out. the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. I crank the volume. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like okay. we need to make another call for us. So, see, where is where should his we send office? the killer? His office space, I guess office space is gonna be, maybe we wanna do it in the, uh, would we say the kitchen? Like, get him far away, but he, isn't he in the kitchen currently? So, maybe we wanna do archives, and then he can make it all the way down to office space or number four boardroom. Call the uh, archives, go the archives, extension man. is zero one. Mm -hmm. I'm in the Wait, archives. why is he in the archives? Wait, what? Keep your head on, man. Huh? He's gonna cut off I thought my... I sent him to the kitchen. Okay, he's got to got to call the kitchen then. Call the kitchen. Whoops. The extension I'm is glad that guy two. gave me a second that chance, could work. man. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. 
So we want to sure? editor's office. That's what we're trying to go to. Hang on a second. I guess boardroom maybe. Call the boardroom. The extension is zero four. Keep them up that. That end. might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office. Yeah, that's pretty but we close. We haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I mean, I guess. I'm sure. Man, Make it's, the call. Yeah, it's making okay. it really confusing. The boardroom I, now. Like, I thought he was still in the kitchen. This guy. I guess he would have had to have moved. And that guy needs to get back to his office right here. Here he goes. I hope this works out, man. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office like, in it, a second. His office isn't labeled. It just says office space. So I have Looks to assume like we're that's him. Through this nightmare. Right? But there's no telephone in there. Any idea what you'll so say to I'm, draw the killer I'm, in? I'm getting confused, man. Uh, on a person named Mr. Russell. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. I'm going to do my best impersonation. You don't want to make a Maurice. joke out of this. I think that'll draw the killer in. Absolutely. What's your Mr. Russell impression? We want to deliver oh, it now. I think I gave that mask freak to slip. Yeah. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Hey. Uh, I'll give you an A. I thought that was solid, man. Oh, call coming in. Here we go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hold up a second. My camera's about to die. I will take my camera dying over this dude any day. Radio it, it. set up in the secret archive. Excellent. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. It's probably not a good idea then. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. We can into just delay it. when we talk. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. Mm. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. Hmm. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. All the way over here, he's talking about. Oh, um, judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. Hmm. What do you reckon? Uh, maybe the cubicles would be the best bet, even though it's far away. I thought maybe the closet would be good. You know, he could just put the uh, the radio in the secret archives and then leaves. We're going to play it safe. Why would, bro, what the freak? Hide among the cubicles. All right. Well. I'd rather play it safe. This is it. The only issue is, will he make it back in time? I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. We'll keep our hush on. Don't say anything until I've had time wait, wait, to hide. Right. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. That's loud. Huh? I don't know what's going on here, man. Okay, hey, listen, man. Uh, listen to your old pal, Russell. Listen to your old you pal go. Russell Forrest and shut up. There you go. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him what? to hide. I didn't... Wait, really? Wait, I <laughs> thought he was forcing me to say... Forrest, oh, that, oh my gosh, that was so bitch. confusing. I thought I, I had to say you. something. Oh, oh, oh that's... Oh my... Oh. I thought we had to say something there. Okay, guys, we're redoing this. I didn't know that was like a gameplay mechanic. I should have really assumed that was very stupid of me. I was too much in the zone. So listen a lot here. I thought the walking was the whistling man coming in. But wait. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more oh, hiding! Right. I'm a tough old man! I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! Sally! Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! He's gonna like that? Oh man, he's whistling for that knuckle sandwich! He's hungry. Bro is hungry for the knuckle sandwich. Lock it, man. Listen for the lock. Where's the lock? Oh, son of a bitch! I was too slow, Forrest! I oh. This is the only time I'm gonna restart like this, guys. I promise. Hide in your cabinet. Last try. Hold right. up. Let's get back there. That's him walking away. No. Here he walks. Yeah, he's hiding. Wait. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. Right, bro, I figured that was not a good one. No more hiding! Last I'm chance. I'm a tough old man. I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! I did oh, think that with the cubicles, down, to be honest, like, it's too far away to get back in time. Sandwich. We don't we do not do this ever again, no, guys. This is just the learning curve, okay? We do not we do not give it any more chances. That sounds like it's locked. My dude can't get out. He's just <laughs> frustrated whistling. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. He still delivers and like this? If you've just tuned in... We just saved a man. See you in hell, kid! He's out. just locked up the whistling man. Let's go! Forrest, you beautiful bastard! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! It's some laughing. That's for you, huh? That's for you, whistling man. Come on, Maurice. That was, was there for me. Ever any doubt? In the alternate Thank universe. God, you should have seen what happened, over. man. I'll be off now. Get out. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. 
Dude, we have to pick and choose much more carefully. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Absolutely. I'll take that as a yes. We might be a bit Talk tired. Talk to you soon. Take care. All right, yeah, no more readers, guys. Folks. Every death is where it ends now. Let's all take a deep breath. Yeah. And I'm not play about some me, Logan, killer not the other one. tunes. Um, is that appropriate? I don't know if that's appropriate, but sure thing. There you go. Now it's time to go yeah. with The Flow. Mm -hmm. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. Let's go. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. I hope so. Right. Dude, Thank God we haven't used this board yet. I guess we got some downtime now. What do we do, huh? I could ask you some questions to kill the time. So what's You're with all this killing, man? Are you sure about that? Gets You're not character. so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now. And you're still all shrouded in mystery. We are the whistle man. What do you want to know? I regret this. I mean, let's go. All right. Shoot. What do you want to know? Shoot. Question always. What? Dude, so many Tell references me about to your death. family. What? Ooh, that's deep. <laughs> Come on, Peggy. Definitely want to make that's sure I'm, I'm on mute. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? I don't even know. Nope. Now that's too specific. Oh, wow. Too specific? I... Do you have any... She's siblings? thinking on the spot. I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. That's okay. Sorry. Why did you do it? Wait. Oh, my. You're sorry. Why? Did you do it? <sighs> of course not. I only... Dang. I'm just messing with you. Anyway... What about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. Uh, we spin this interview you around. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks Aww. went the same way as yours. Well, that's sad. That's sad. Do, should we ask? Oh. It does not say coincidence. What happened there? I feel like that's a my good My dad way to walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. So I know this music doesn't fit then the mood, he got but you know. into a wreck. Ah. Well, that was dad. Well, Mom sad. didn't take it well. Take a she remarried we pretty quick after that. Hmm. She wanted to forget Dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. Take another one. Let's so go. I'm, I'm taking Peggy Sorry, Weaver guys. now. Ah, okay. Anyway, Weaver. Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Yeah, that's rough. Don't call me Peg. Put this down yeah, here. Another sorry. thing we don't need I was just now. Trying to be. It's gonna be like an archive. It's okay. Of I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Noted. So we don't say that. All Any right. siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Wow. Not anymore. Dang. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Oh. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on Wait, earth what? could someone want at this hour? I don't um, know. Do you want to go check it out? You got a Me? gun, man? You sure you don't want to go? Oh, I she's can't sure. can't leave the booth while we're on air. <laughs> I get it. One of Reggie's K fan regulations. I'll yep. pass you the key to the stairs. Oh, look, she's. That's kind of sick how we've got this, like, um, the way that we can still interact with them. Even though we never get access, like, she slips the keys. All right, Peggy, thank you so much. Okay. Down to the first floor. Look at this. Check the door. It, this is cool, though. This is like, that game, do you copy? This is kind of what I wanted it to be like when we were in that small area. But now in this one, look, we can do the exploration in between. That's not open. Okay, well, why not, bro? Where's, where, where the freak's the, the key, key at, though? Key. It's like, this is the game I kind of was hoping that one would have been. So it's already sick to see now that we got a uh, similar little experience. So we can go up to the rooftop, man. Can't go through it. This is already cool. This is awesome. Okay, you go down. Like, I'm really in the zone for this. It's our lobby. I mean, for a station that only gets 1k listeners, I would argue, like, we are doing pretty well for ourselves. Let me just check back here. And we got junk down there. Maze. Alloy admission. Yep. I didn't want that one. But for now. Yep. Maybe in the daytime when there's people here running this thing, that's when there might be uh, more of a chance of catching someone. What did they say? What is this? Tape. Play, Play me on, on air. air. Hmm. I don't like that. That's, uh, that's a weird one, right? We get slipped out and we just, okay, I'm glad we can't check those doors yet. Double glaze, by the way, reinforced. No one's coming through, might I add. Hey, we're locking this door behind us. We better, because these doors, they swing, all right? Yeah, I'm gonna imagine that is locked up. I did the smart thing there. Hey, uh, Peggy, we, we got an interesting little thing going on tonight, don't we? Play me on air. We don't want to tell her about this thing. Should we, should we do it? Should we just do this thing without really thinking? I mean, all right, we'll, uh, 
Do what they requested. Leave that one down there for safekeeping. Let's see what goes down. Is this gonna be weird? We're gonna hear maybe some whistling. Vibrato's in that whistle though, you know? All right, let's uh, give this a play. <laughs> Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to This is loud. Pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. Oh. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. I can barely turn that down. I did not enjoy that. Now, this is going straight in the trash, bro. What was that? Straight in the trash. This is I... something we don't want to think about oh. anymore. Forest? Yeah, appropriate. We're still on air. Say something. Uh oh, uh, sorry about that. That, uh, uh <clears throat> wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks. And yeah, that was It won't questionable. happen again. Yeah, Maurice hopefully. Maurice locked the killer up. I know. So, wait, is there more than one, does that mean? That means there must be multiple killers. They're all working in tangent. Hey, we had a call come in. All right, let's listen up. Let's listen up. Time to turn the music off. Mm-hmm. I got you. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with... Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Is this guy? Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! The whistling man is gone! How? Wait, he's gone? What happened? He's gone? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. I would not be doing then that, what man. Happened? Staying away I'm from that. I'm getting area. to that. We came back here. Door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks, and well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Yeah, got it. And did you let him escape? I don't blame you. I don't right? blame you. I would have been tempted to do the same. Have you both got a screw loose? <laughs> you know what the whistling man's done tonight. I know. This was not my idea. This was your buddy's idea, The huh? guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Nothing. Yeah. Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Did they have a ventilation Are you sure system? it was still locked? I'm telling you. It was locked. Hmm. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, uh, he could then... be sweeping between. Don't be ridiculous. You think he's some kind of ghost? I mean, that's what she's getting at. It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Mooney, there's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Mooney. Mooney. Now he said Mooney. 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 I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge, and I recommend you and everyone listening do the Ooh, same. That's the key word we heard there. He seems really spooked. Right. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer yeah, who turned out one. to be a demonic spirit? I feel a little something. He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? We keep the air rolling. 1.04 a.m. What an eventful, like, what, 22 minutes or so that was? That was very Thank eventful. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. Just had some casual callers come through. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. Great. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Mm -hmm. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right. All right, folks. We need to take a quick look break. At, we're going to flip this one out. This Let's one's see. for all those folks Storm out riders. there. Let's go. Keeping Is that the, the right hatches one? battened. All right, and we are gonna go, uh, let's go, boom. Introduce this as well. It's funky, it's groovy, it's mm. stabbing the twilight by knife and easy. I don't like that. Scary name. Right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Wait, what? Well, okay, we gotta do this not on air though. Wait, can I not go? Wait, I thought you wanted me to go. Wait, what? Whoa. Bro, I was just following orders, man. I guess we can still do it ultimately. What is this? Play me ASAP off air. Okay, how do I make sure I play this off air though? Because like if I push this in, is it not gonna play? If I just press play, they shouldn't hear this, right? Or try your call again. Well, why is it these straight to voicemail? Oh, they're My so God. loud, man. Are there All right, any professionals I've got it. at KFAM? Did we forget an ad or something? This is I don't know. Gina it was buried Franklin. In my I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored uh, our agreement. We gave Clay you Mrs. Mrs. Yo, we should have made this overlap. the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we Purple still not angry color. any information about when you're fitting into your really mini off. programming. Oh. 
pause that a second. I, I could barely hear that one. He has an angry he has color. An angry color. I'm gonna actually rewind oh, course, this to replay again. I'll give I you think. the Reggie rundown later. Right now, we need to play that tape. Yeah, we're actually gonna restart the tape. I hope this is how we restart. Or try Let's go. your call again. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. Straight to voicemail. My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received mm. any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. Mm -hmm. I'll be frank. I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior oh. and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Knight, you all right? Who's this dude? Don't worry about Gina. You know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. Nice I really one. hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's snatching that back. Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much Final air. less friendly. Okay, all right. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher? Big Roddy fan, uh... Yeah, Roddy that. and I are old friends. <gasps> I love Roddy! I Will Always Find You was my song. We have it amongst these? I'm just I gonna check, bro. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. I see it, bro. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single! I didn't even remember, I'm we sorry, man. We have to play Final Breath. Where is Final it? Breath. I don't know. I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Oh, then so it's gotta, gotta be downstairs it. at reception. We're making a trip. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. Mm hmm. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants yeah, up. Let's us. not have that. Let's not have that. Any, any closing text? Not this time. I'm on to you, okay? I saw what you did to me last time. Yeah, this game has fun pacing so far. Like, it's, uh,. I know, it's really giving us like the ins and outs of what it feels like to be working this type of thing. So we're looking for the mail. Um, so many locked only. doors, so few keys. I need me a way through there. Probably at some point we're looking for the mail. Freak of these, man. Datables? I don't think I want to watch that. I'm not too keen on that. So keep your DVDs or your VHS tapes. Look at all the pets down there, bro. We love to see that. That's what I'm talking about. What is this? What's the fuck up here to do with trucks? Let's see, we got this. Uh, wait, what is that one? Hold up. There's something kind of neat that one. The gallery's reporter. Put that down there. Where is the mailing stuff? Is it maybe around this corner here? It's looking more like a sort of uh, billboard section. Creepy hour. We got this. Gene and Karee's French. Hey! Why did that scare me so much? Was that was that a time jump scale? Or did I just get really unlucky there? Jeannie, I'm so proud of you. Made lots of friends and work hard. Love mom. Oh, that's kind of cute. Wait, where is this thing that we're looking for then? I have no idea. She said down in the lobby, right? Reception. This is where it is. Where would the mail go? Down here. Let's Final see breath. It. That's Final it. Final breath. I see My you. tiny selection grows. Well, I just dropped that thing somewhere. You know what? Let's not think about it. Apparently, I've got it in my hand still. All right. We'll play this tune and just see what it sounds like, huh? Better sound good, though. All been hyped up now, so let's go. Final breath. Where is it? Somewhere amongst this? Okay, pop that one out. Bop. Bip, bada, bop, bop, bum. His best work, he says, huh? Very, very slow start. Let's crank this up a bit. Don't need to introduce this. Everyone's gonna know who this song is, right? Dude said he was so famous. Let's, let's take a listen. Stand up close. Mmm, okay, smooth. Smooth on the evening. I'm hearing that one. Back up. Oh, wait. Hey, did you get it? Yeah, you're listening to it right now. Let's Come on. Let's get this on the air. Already playing, bro. Oh. Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're oh, in for yo, a much we just, We're already treat. blaring it, but all right. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation me? himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Oh, it ain't me. Okay. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Just in time for the draw. Mm-mm. Hey, you better wow. like that. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. You're cheering it on. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Mm hmm. And we transition again. Let's go. I think that's every time I've seen him live. So we hey, had a conversation right there. just talked through the whole song. Did she even listen oh, to it? Whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. All right. Oh, shoot. 
I just noticed we have a caller waiting. Maybe we should answer that call. I really hope it's nothing serious. Yeah, me too. I'm kind of worried, not gonna lie. All right, guys, we're actually gonna leave this one here. This was a first look at Killer Frequency, and it looks like the game continues on for quite we some time after. We have a call after. waiting. I have an outro waiting too, and I'm feeling it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this, though. I would definitely love to come back for more. I don't know how long this game is, but I'm kind of down to experience as much of this game as I can, and just do it for these, like, longer videos, bro. This feels like that game where you want to really get into the mood of the zone and just get immersed in the whole experience. Very promising in look though for the start of this game i like the style i like how you can actually walk around past just being stuck in the dj booth so i'm curious if maybe we'll get the killer in our actual office we will find out soon enough though if you guys want to see more about this game you can check the link in the description and down below but that's going to be everything for this video here and i really hope you guys did enjoy if you did why not drop me that like crate and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thanks so much for watching this video guys of course if you did enjoy and who knew being a radio host could literally be this scary though